Steven from Chainsaw Ace back today with another video. Today we will be looking at a Poland 1800 chainsaw that has been sitting up for a long, long time and won't start. This model saw was released onto the market in 1982 with a production run that lasted through the early 90s. That puts this chainsaw anywhere from 32 to 42 years of age. I love these old chainsaws for their simplistic and practical design and requiring no special tools to service. First things first, let's get the bar and chain off the chainsaw. An unusual feature of this chainsaw is the chain side cover being held on not only by a bar nut at the front, but a screw at the rear. Very strange, but effective. Let's get rid of this old dirt with some compressed air. Now let's get the spark plug out so we can conduct a compression test. I'm going to skip the pressure and vacuum test for now. If I suspect an air leak, I will conduct those tests at that time if necessary. I will be doing the compression test at wide open throttle by using this zip tie. The engine's compression is fantastic. Gonna clean things up a bit. Keep in mind this footage is not sped up and is a byproduct of my passion for coffee. Now let's check the carburetor and air filter area out. It 
It looks like someone left their Copenhagen in here. Mmm. Let's get the carburetor off. You can see the fuel line is broken off and missing completely. The fuel line is supposed to route through the handle to the fuel tank. You can see here it has completely disintegrated and is gone. Nowhere to be found. Here is a remnant of the old fuel line. And here is where the fuel line is supposed to enter the fuel tank. There is some old fuel that we'll need to get out of the tank before we can repair the fuel line. Not sure how old this fuel is, but it does not even smell or look like gas. It's old and decayed. Let's get this carburetor torn down so we can clean it and rebuild it. The metering diaphragm doesn't look hardened, but it has lost its elasticity and needs to be replaced. Now let's remove the gasket. Side note, I don't remove the high and low speed needles when cleaning with a sonic cleaner. In my experience, it is unnecessary. But if I was using carburetor cleaner spray or chem dip, these would need to be removed to clean the carburetor properly. Now let's remove the metering needle assembly. And now for the carburetor's other side. This diaphragm looks hardened on this side. This is typically what you see in these old carburetors. It's crispy and needs to be replaced. Now let's get the screen out. Yeah, it's clogged up. Now, let's get the carburetor into the ultrasonic cleaner. I use a mixture of water and totally awesome all-purpose cleaner. I set the temperature to 80 degrees Celsius. Heat helps clean the carburetor thoroughly. I then set the time to 30 minutes. If the carburetor is extremely dirty, I will run additional cleaning cycles. Now let's drop the carburetor into the bath. Okay, while the carburetor is being cleaned, let's start replacing the missing fuel lines and the fuel filter. I cut my fuel line to a point and use lubricant to make it go into the fuel tank easier. Twisting while pushing seems to help when inserting the fuel line.
Once I'm able to see the fuel line in the tank, I will pull it all the way in using some forceps. Then I cut off the pointed end before I attach the fuel filter. I should have cleaned out the fuel tank before inserting the new fuel line. However, it's not a big deal. I will hold the fuel line out of the way while I mop and blow out the tank. Now, let's complete the fuel line run all the way back to the carburetor through the handle of the chainsaw. Let's press the broken fuel line out of the carburetor housing to clear the way for the new fuel line. Now let's route the fuel line through the handle by placing it in the notches on the right side of the handle. Now let's push the fuel line into the carburetor housing. Let's replace the trigger and linkage back into the handle, being careful not to pinch or press on the new fuel line. Now for a quick throttle check. Yep, it's working. The carburetor just finished its cleaning cycle. Let's get it out and rebuild it with a new carburetor kit. Let's carefully blow out the carburetor. Here is a new carburetor kit. Let's install the screen by hand and then use a number two pencil eraser to seat it firmly into place. Now for the new gasket and diaphragm for this side of the carburetor. Now let's install the metering needle assembly.
When inserting the rocker arm assembly, be sure to get it under the head of the metering needle. Now for the gasket and metering diaphragm. Time to reinstall the carburetor back onto the chainsaw. Make sure the choke plate can move freely after you're done tightening. Now for the new air filter. Let's attach the fuel line to the carburetor. Now for the carburetor choke cover. To easily line up the choke plate and choke arm, set the choke plate on the carb to full choke and set the cap to full choke as well. Everything will line right up and go on easily. Let's remove the clutch and sprocket so we can grease the sprocket barrier. Let's really coat the bearing with grease. And now for the new spark plug. Thank you. 
Now let's get the guide bar and chain cleaned up. Coffee is a staple here at Chantilly's, and it makes me quit. Now time to reinstall the bar and chain. Yes, I sharpened the chain. I did it off camera. Make sure the chain is facing the correct direction with cutters facing forward along the top of the guide bar. Be sure to lift the top of the guide bar when tensioning the chain. Now, let's test out this 40-ish year old saw. First though, this old boy needs a cool drink. Thanks so much for watching. Have a good one.